Neuropalliative care is really a recent concept. So when I started writing about palliative care for Parkinson's disease, it was really different. In fact, at one of my talks, a fellow went back to his professor and said, a neurologist was talking about palliative care. And he said, oh, you must be mistaken. They're not interested in that. <laughs> So it was a challenge, I think, to really get enough traction. You know, there was in the beginning perhaps not universal support in our program because I think it was quite a jump to envision that, yes, we actually did have a role in the neurology world. The Parkinson and Movement Disorder Program at the K. Edmonton Clinic is just such a gem. I am so proud of it and so grateful for the support that we have been given by Alberta Health Services. When I was doing clinical research at Toronto Western Hospital at the University of Toronto, I realized, you know, people stopped coming to see us and how can we do better? So I thought maybe palliative care can answer their needs because when you have a palliative approach, you're not thinking just about end of life. That's a big mistake. Actually, palliative care is about living well now. And how can we help our patients have the best quality of life? Our program is uh, the only referral center, or tertiary center in the North Alberta and also all the North territories. And uh, the program carries a few thousands of patients and at least six to 7,000 of visit per year. And we cover all kinds of movement disorders. It's an interdisciplinary team involved with multiple physicians, uh, trained in neurology, palliative care, there's some nurses, as well as a chaplain. And we help patients with neurologic disorders, including Parkinson's and subtypes. Dr. Miyazaki was looking for partners in palliative care and so when the opportunity arose for us to get involved, I jumped on it. Over the years, enjoyed it tremendously, learned so much. And I also know that we have addressed the gap, a big gap that we've had in the system. Because neurology patients, movement disorder patients have fallen through the cracks. As a movement disorder specialist, you're interested in how well are you moving? How well are your pills working? Do I need to send you for surgery? But what is important to the patient? For that person, it may be, I want to go on a cruise to Disney World with my grandchildren and create those special moments and memories. And so in palliative care, we stop thinking about what's important to us as doctors and nurses, physiotherapists and occupational therapists. But what's important to that person and that family? The concept of neuropalliative clinic is fairly unique, but I think it's been good for the neurologists because they've learned from us. And it's been very good for the palliative care physicians. I think it's also been very good experience for our trainees our residents, this is outside of what they normally would do in their palliative care training, so it's an added bonus. My experience as the first palliative resident to train with such an experienced uh, palliative neurologist is excellent. I'm just surprised at how willing they are to teach trainees like myself. I think this experience would benefit many palliative trainees, as most palliative trainees do not come from a neurology background, and we often don't see all these complex and rare neurologic disorders. Yet these people still exist in community. So developing a way to tackle their complex symptoms and improve their quality of life is something that all palliative trainees can benefit from. The program has very strong research background. My practice and my interest is in deep brain stimulation for movement disorders. We look at our patient population, both referred patient and people who receive the DBS. We don't really see a lot of referrals from the community. And if you look at this data from multiple places, it can be as bad as 90% of white male. 
So as a neurologist, we applied for social science grant and we got it. We are going to involve people with uh, educational background to get some cultural, ethnicity sensitive educational material to disseminate. And our goal, obviously, is to, to improve the equal access to the care. My ultimate dream for neuropalliative care is that every physician and nurse and physiotherapist and occupational therapist understands and internalizes the principles of palliative care as they approach their patients. Because really, to me, palliative care is the best of medicine. Thanks for watching this AAN TV feature. Now, an important disclaimer. Content is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Users should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice for any medical condition they may have and should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions.